Hey there fellow hungry travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Detroit, DTW, the airport here. And today we're going to talk about what you can get to eat when you're in Terminal A. But one thing is when you come in, you have all these shops here. Don't let that fool you. Once you get past those shops, it's just lots of eating stuff along the way. But one thing you need to know is Terminal A is very, very long. Like there is actually a train going from one side to the other that you might want to use when you are here. But I want to show you the food, but instead of starting here in the middle, I'm going to start at the very end, like down to the 170s, and we're going to start from there, okay? So we're starting here at the end at A73, and there's actually a food court that's here. And the first thing you have is Gordon Beers. So those are burgers, salads, uh, pretzels, full bar. This is a, you know, I've seen this at a number of airports around the U.S., so it's a, a common thing that I'll go to with my buddies to grab a drink. The food court that's here, you have a little snack shop called Green, but it's more like if you want, like, the chocolate-covered bananas or nuts and stuff like that, they have that. There's also the... Detroit Street Lunchbox, if you want to have that one, so those are things that are already prepared for you. Sandwiches and other tasty treats, so you can grab that and go. Now from the Detroit Street Lunchbox, you got Qdoba, which is burritos, you can go there and get that. Next to that, you got the live music going. And then you have Chick-fil-A, so you want a chicken sandwich or a little chicken, not chicken nuggets, it's whatever they call them, a little piece of chicken fried up, that's what my kids always get when we go there. You have that option. Then there's the Wall Street Journal, if you want to get snacks, there, you know, your chips and your candy and things to throw in your bag when you're flying. And then there's the a, you, ubiquitous in the U.S. Pink berry frozen yogurt. So if you want to get that um, frozen yogurt stuff, they have that here as well. But there's a nice little food court here at this end. So let's start walking down. Let's see how many steps I actually take walking from one end to the other as well to do this. Across from A65, you have Longhorn Steakhouse. So if you want to grab a steak, so you want to be really filled up for your flight, this is one that's decent. Um, we've eaten here before and it was fine. So right past Longhorn Steakhouse, across May 66, you got Minute Sweets if you want to relax, but they have snacks there you can buy. So I said, every week you get food. Next up across from May 66, you have the CNBC Smart Shop. So that has the usual sodas, snacks, potato chips, all kinds of stuff. You know, the total junk food you get on a road trip, get on a plane trip. But then there's where your kids will want to go eat. Take my word for it. Yeah, across from May 66, you have Dylan's Candy Bar. Yes, yes, you should go, and yes, you should let your kids buy whatever they want when they're there. Just letting you know to make it for a happier flight. So next to A61, a breakfast spot for you. It's a Starbucks that's inside the Times newsstand. So you go over here, and they have a normal Starbucks kind of thing. But they also have, you want to grab the snacks, they have that there too. Then across the way, <laughs> next to A60, you have a Popeye's. And I'll tell you, it tastes like Popeyes, but it's just like your Popeyes experience when you go to the normal Popeyes, it's not fast. So if you're trying to grab something really quick between flights, I've had experiences many times with this Popeyes and it is very slow. So be aware of that. And the next to it, of course, you have the ubiquitous Subway. So you can grab a sandwich there, it's a little bit quicker. Next to 855, you get the Forbes Travel Store. Again, nuts, candies, Cheez-Its, if you like, they have that as well. Drinks, so, you know, usual just Throw in your bag kind of snacks. Then you have up here, next to A54, is Meza, a Mediterranean grill. Um, so if you're thinking Mediterranean, you think, oh, it's gonna be Italian food? No, this is not pasta. They do have pizza. Just gotta ask them about that. They have wraps, they have, you know, tomato bisque, which I'm not sure how that's Mediterranean, but they have that, it's pretty decent. Um, they've got some, they have Greek salads, they have a lamb burger, they've got a normal burger, they have all kinds of stuff. This is actually where Joss and my mom will come and have drinks when they come, so. Uh, it's Jocelyn approved of her drinking. <laughs> and if you're in a hurry and you don't have time to sit down, they actually have a mezza on the go right next to it. So you can just grab and go stuff. So that's a little more helpful if you're in a hurry. So next to 846, you got Leo's Coney Island. And this is the one your kids are probably want to go to because it's burgers and hot dogs and chicken fingers. So you got kids, this is probably your, your best bet. And also what's cool if you're in a hurry, they actually have a to-go section too. So you can either sit down and eat or you can grab and go. So something for you. Oh, and then right across from it, there's another Times newsstand so you can get your snacks and nuts and things like that. So they do have a lot of these going around so you can get something quick. Another one of my mom's favorite across from A46 is Vino Volo. So you can go there for wine. They actually have small snacks as well. So look for something a bit lighter. That can be a nice little eating place, a little bit nicer uh, to sit down. Don't usually have kids there bothering you either. So if you want to be like away from them and just like chill out with some wine, Vino Volo is always nice. So if coffee and alcohol aren't your way, right here at that kind of where you come in, there's also a big gumball machine. And if you're looking how to get the concourse at B and C, it's right across from there, okay? And if you want to know what's eating B and C, we have another video talking about those, okay? But this one's just A. Let's keep walking. 
So across from 838, if you're looking for a fast, casual Chinese food with a bar, there's a P.F. Chang's. If you want something a little bit quicker, there's also across from 836, there's a McDonald's. I think you know what they have. Uh, right next to 836 is Plum Market. It actually has a, a coffee shop inside of it. So you want a coffee and other things, but in there there's all kinds of stuff you want to get. Souped up steroid version of all the other little time shops in terms of the more food options you have in there. I think the key thing is the coffee stuff over here. That's what's going to make your life a little bit easier in the morning if you don't want to wait in that Starbucks line or the other lines. Um, and if you just want to get vending right across from it, here's the Detroit vending machines here from Coke. So you have that little area to sit into. Some people are a little more adventurous. They will have some sushi. Sora sushi is actually right here. There's Japanese cuisine. It's not just sushi. They have other stuff too. You can hop in there. If you've eaten there before, it was pretty good. Oh, I forgot to tell you the gate. It's at gate 835. They actually have a bar that extends out, so if you don't want to eat, you can just want to go to a bar. You have that there, too. So if you're looking for Italian food, by 830, you have Andiamo. They have pizzas. They have a lot of pastas. They've got salads. They have all kinds of stuff. So if you want your Italian kick, this is where you probably want to go. Oh, and then right across the way, in case the kids don't want pasta or pizza or tasty stuff, there's the DTW Essentials, which is more candy, chips, drink stuff. See a theme. Oh, or maybe they want to go to the So Chocolate Shop and just do that instead. So at least they have stuff that's not just stickers and Twix. You have other candies to rot your teeth and hype yourself a hot sugar. The next day, 20, you got a Starbucks that's inside the Wall Street Journal shop. So again, same thing, chips, snacks, all that kind of stuff. But it does have full service Starbucks in there. So if you're in the morning or in the afternoon to grab something, there's that there. Well, because I remember those days and how hard it was to find that you have a nursing room for mothers who want to feed your baby. Um, it's by A18, well, it's by the Delta counter here. So you do have that. So for mamas that need to breastfeed, you've got that there for you. So the next day 17 is Michigan Treasures. And yes, it is the same kind of, has some potato chips, has beef jerky, has your drinks, but it actually has Michigan stuff in there too. So you can get Mackinac Island fudge when you're there. Well worth getting. Also the cherry stuff, they have those things in there too. So there's actually really Michigan like snacky news you can get there. So if you're gonna get some, go to this one and get the snacky news there so you feel like you got something pure Michigan. See, their their, their logo works. Pure Michigan really works for the state of Michigan. Very nice. Um, across the way, you have Max and Irma's uh, Burger Place. So burgers, beer, you know, nice easy thing to do with kids or with your buddies. It's, it's decent. I've had a burger there before, it was pretty good. So uh, some other things. Right by gate A15. Oh, we're finally to the other end, and we start with the Shed Bar. And there's actually another food court down here that's a lot of options. So we're gonna go through all of them, but Shed Bar, it's just a bar, so you get drinks there. We'll show you your food options when you are at this end. So you got Corridor Kitchen here. They had burgers and potato salad. Not much going on right now, so uh, not as cool, so you have that. Um, then if you want to get a deli sandwich, uh, Grubles Deli, uh, Gourmet Deli, you can go there and get a sandwich, that's one of the quicker ones I've found when I've been here. A week run through and eat something, they'll slice it up for you, get it ready for really quick. Of course, another smart shop with all the snacks and stuff you could get. If you're looking for coffee, there's a coffee beanery here as well. Obviously I'm here on a Sunday afternoon, not really anything going on, but they have pastries, they have bagels and stuff. If you're looking for things in the morning. And then here at the very end, we have another bar for you. Crave about a grill and bar. So some bites to eat there and some drinks as well. I'm here on a Sunday. Nothing going on here for that. So uh, I hope this helps you know what to eat in Terminal A. If you wanna know what's in Terminal B, C, where more of the regional flights go out of and other airlines and stuff, I'm gonna go over there and do another video uh, just on that so you can check that out. But let's see how far I walk because I have to go touch that other side to make sure I went from one end to the other. Okay, ding. Let me show you the steps we had. Look, it was over a mile walking from one end to the other, okay? That's why the express tram, whatever they call the train that goes over here, it's called the express tram. Take that to get to some of the gates because it is pretty far, even though you're like, oh, we come on to A2 and we end up A30, it shouldn't be far. No, it's gonna be far. Take that, that express tram to help you out, okay? Now, I hope this helps you know what to eat when you're here in Detroit, in DTW, if you're connecting, if you're starting off here. If you wanna learn more, we've got these for other videos around the world to help people know what to grab, a bite to eat when they're waiting for the flight. See you later and bye from Detroit. Terminal A, that is.